Pa, thank you. Today, a contentious hearing at the state capitol brought out personal stories that moved some to tears. The hearing was over a package of bills that would prohibit some trans student athletes from participating in organized sports for the gender of their choice. JT Siskowski was at the hearing and has you covered on the details of the bills and the emotions of the moment. When Amy Wall still identified as a man, she lost her wife. Then she realized she was trans. But I was terrified of telling my kids because they had lost their mother three years before. And like, what happens if they, you know, it, it may hurt them even more. But they took to it and they, they call me mom and they've just been really great to me. Hers was just one of many stories shared by trans women at Wednesday's hearing of bills before the Senate Committee on Mental Health, Substance Abuse Prevention, Children and Families. The bills would make schools, universities and colleges label their organized sports as either male, female or both. They would also ban people assigned the male gender at birth from participating in female-only sports regardless of their current gender identity. Because there's a lot of things on the national level of trans people being excluded, being told that we're not welcome, being told that we're not real. Those speaking against the bills see them as part of a larger assault on trans rights. And there's a lot of trying to exclude us from public spaces and excluding us from sports is part of that. The people speaking against the bill who sat at this testimony table delivered personal story after personal story. But the bill authors also sat here and made an impassioned argument for why they felt the committee should support the legislation. Tide is, is a change or has turned or at least recognize the importance of keeping uh, female sports, female sports. But for the advocates and transgender people like Wall who spoke, this is a fight about preserving their sense of self. And I'm, I'm so much happier and I'm so much more comfortable and I wish my wife could see me like the, the way I am now. In Madison, JT Saskowski, 27 News. The hearing lasted several hours and featured many speakers. We will post extended interviews and testimony on our web channel, WKOW.com.